TV. I'm your host Mark Fusco here for another edition of the show and um, this is a replacement episode uh, of sorts I guess. I was supposed to have an episode from uh, my visit at uh, Macaroni Grill because I went there to have dinner recently in the past few days and uh, I was drinking some wine. I thought it was pretty decent wine. I thought I'd do a little in the field review Unfortunately, the sound, the audio isn't the best. It's not really, um, I mean, I could hear it on the computer, but once everything got converted and set up as a, as a movie file to be uploaded, um, saw quite a bit of uh, distortion in it. So decided that uh, instead of spending two hours or three hours more to fix the issue, because I had already spent a couple hours on it, I was just going to just review some wine. I've got plenty of it, trust me. All right, so with that said, uh, we are going to review, and now my notes just faded, we're going to review the 2008 Jean-Louis Trocard uh, Le Blanc from Bordeaux. Um, this, I believe, does it say Bordeaux Superior on it? No, it just says Bordeaux. Vin Blanc Sec. Okay, because we're doing some research, they, it said something about uh, Bordeaux Superior, but in relation to this wine, but maybe not this, maybe not this um, vintage. All that means is that the wine, the vines are older. They're they're older vines than the regular vines for Bordeaux AOC. All right, so um, this was uh, bought at Specs for nine dollars sixty three cents. Uh, that is the five percent discount cash price, and. Uh, while I'm thinking about it, put it in here in the little hoopty nugget. Nine dollars and sixty-three cents. Done, 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 done. Nope, done. All right. So uh, the blend is eighty percent Sauvignon Blanc, twenty percent Semillon, and these are um, ferment. This is fermented in stainless steel, and then it says something. No, not this one. I had to like kind of trans. No, this this side didn't have to do any. Weird translations. I actually have an English version of the site. So uh, let's check it out. So I'm getting kind of tropical fruit. There I am picking up some alcohol. And I mean, this is room temperature and all that. Um, I didn't see what the percentage was on here, though it should be somewhere on here. 12%, but I'm just getting your typical like white wine alcohol smell on it. With hints of like tropical type fruits, maybe like cantaloupe, melon, that type of thing. Not unpleasant, but definitely would probably benefit from, um, I need to change it, it keeps fading too fast. Um, Probably benefit from cooling. Let's go ahead and taste it. It's not bad. And don't take the water as being it was bad. I'm trying to wash the taste out of my mouth. I just want to do another shot, get the wine in there, kind of rinse out, I want to do it again. Definitely acidity to it. Um, it was kind of all over the place. There's a bit of sourness to it, kind of like kind of like a sour apple it's not completely unpleasant to me but I don't know this is one of those wines where I think you need food with it you put some cheeses with this um, and I, I would say like cheeses maybe you know I, I wouldn't necessarily say you need this with a um, 
like a chicken dish or anything like that. You know, some white sauces, some cream sauces uh, to, to cut to, for the acid to cut through that. And I think the wine would come out much better off. Hopefully not overpowered by the food. Again, a tartness to it, kind of a sourness. Not quite an apple, but maybe if you had like a tart, like the tartness from, from like from like you know fruit that you get that kind of uh, sourness or tartness from fruit, uh, almost like pineapple, that kind of thing. Um, rating, I'd say it's 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 not a bad wine. I mean, this is a white Bordeaux. This is why I bought it because. You don't really, we don't really talk about white Bordeaux because they're, they're relatively uncommon. I don't want to say the word rare because they're not rare, but they're uncommon. Uh, you think Bordeaux, you think red wine. And I hadn't had a white Bordeaux, so I thought I'd have it. And, um, you know, it, it's, it's not bad. But it's not, it's not knocking my socks off. And it says, enjoy well chilled, right, by itself. Or serve with fish, chicken, exotic food, or barbecue. Maybe the fish. Maybe. Even though I'm not a fish eater, I wouldn't eat fish. And you know, But I've had the crab dip once, and I understood why Sauvignon Blanc pairs well with fish. So um, with that said, let's talk about the, the uh, winery real quick before I run out of time. Um, so this particular uh, brand, uh, or winery. Uh, it's been around for, they said, 14 generations. They were founded in 1628. It is located in an area called um, uh, Liberté, which is near the area of uh, Pomerol and Saint-Emilion in uh, Bordeaux. So I figured I'd let you know about that stuff. I didn't give it a score yet, did I? Because I'm kind of waffling on what I want to give it. Yes, I know. Um, we got a bit of that extra, and I was also kind of waiting to see if the wine opened up a little more, and it did. And I got that peppery. It's softening a bit. It's 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 had a little more. It's interacting with the air. It's softening up a little bit. It's not as tart. Got a little bit of green pepper action, so that green pepper pineapple um, type of thing. It just improved in like two minutes. Uh, I was going to give it like an 83. Now I'm going to give it more like an 80, give it an 85. It's solid. You need to let it open up a little bit. Uh, probably chilled would, would, would taste a little bit better, but uh, yeah, 85. All right, cool. So um, wrap this up and we're going to go ahead and uh, do another wine review. You're going to see me in the same clothes for like three reviews in a row and because uh, it's my day off. Let's see what else. Uh, hopefully you, you're liking the new the player that I'm using right now. I'm having Vidler issues um, so you can see, notice I'm using Blip TV player and I'm using the really large uh, version of the player or I've, I've changed the size of it. Um, got some new ads up. Uh, thank you for Palette Press for supplying me some uh, some cool ads, and so check those out. We got a couple things going on with that. Um, let's see what else. Uh, and Vidler is working on the problem, working on the issue uh, as of right now. Hopefully they can fix it. Um, but as far as the website, I may still use Blip.tv. I'm not sure. I'm kind of on the I'm kind of on the fence between what I want to use. Um, Hopefully, if Vidler gets the issue fixed, because usually about 12 to 14 minutes into these videos, the long ones, the syncing gets, gets off, the, the audio sync is off. Um, they can get that resolved. Uh, I'll talk with them about some stuff, and maybe I can revert back to Vidler, because I prefer their player much more over everybody else's. Uh, let's see, what else, what else? Talk about Vidler and the issues there, wines. 
I think I covered just about everything. Uh, there are some things that are works in progress, so uh, things aren't on the site yet, but things that are on the site, like the database that's going to be updated hopefully in the next couple weeks to have every single one, not just the first 45 or 50 episodes. Um, I think that's it. We'll see everybody again on Wednesday.